Just being cool, cause I'm cool as a cucumber. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Hey guys and welcome back to the second part of the secret of rain on episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the story so far. Let's get into the next part. No, this can't be true. Can it? I'm an immortal? Oh my gosh. Does that mean that my biological parents are immortals too? Is this why I was abandoned as a baby? Because they were evil people? And I'm evil too? This is why I'm so cold hearted, isn't it? Deep down, I'm evil. Oh man. If Leon finds out, he's gonna kill me. He's literally going to kill me. Okay, calm down, Rain. Calm down. You have to stay calm. But what am I gonna do? How the heck can I hide it from him? All he has to do is use his app and it'll out me. I'm screwed. And does this mean I can shapeshift? I can actually take the appearance of someone else? You know what? This is nuts. This is freaking bonkers. I can't even focus right now. I have to go to sleep. Better get into my pajamas first though. I'm gonna wake up in the morning and this is all gonna be a bad dream. Who am I kidding? I know what a bad dream feels like and this isn't one of them. This is freaking real and I have to do something about it. I'm gonna be seeing Leon in school tomorrow and if he finds out I'm an immortal, my life is over. I just need that app to somehow fail to register me as an immortal. It needs to be hacked. Yep, that's it. I need to hack his app. Only problem is, I've never hacked anything in my life. I wouldn't know where to start, but there must be someone at school that can help me. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll find a hacker at school tomorrow, borrow Liam's phone, then this will all be fixed the following morning. Right, let's get this plan in motion. I have to secure a hacker before I see Leon, in case he decides to use the app in my presence. I just have no idea where to start. Oh my gosh, there he is. Okay, I'm gonna hide in the girls' toilets until he's gone. Yes, girl, run into the toilets. <laughs> Uh oh. There she is. He didn't kill you then? Excuse me? How did it go? Your date with Leon. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was lost in my own thoughts. Uh, this is awkward because he might literally kill me. Um, but it wasn't a date, so we'll just put that. It wasn't a date. Oh, of course not. Well, how did your meeting with Leon go? It went okay. Okay. That's it? Come on, Rain. If we're gonna be girlies, you're gonna need to open up a little more than that. Well, I guess it went more than okay. I enjoyed his company. Wow. I can see a sparkle in your eye. You actually like him, don't you? You fancy Leon. You're the one who said he was the hottest guy in school. Did I say that? Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, I must have gotten the names mixed up. I meant Scott Edwards. He's the hottest guy in school. No, Leon isn't hot. He's not hot at all. Leon Lionfang? Yuck. No offense, of course. Did you kiss him? What? No, of course not. We just met up and talked, that's all. Anyway, I have to get going. Class starts in less than 10 minutes. I know. I'm in the same class as you. Oh yeah. You're acting very strange today, Rain. You know that? Yeah, I do. Oh, I get it now. You're one of those. One of who? Oh my gosh. She doesn't know when I'm immortal, does she? One of those quirky types. You're kind of odd, but odd is cool when done correctly. Um... Okay. Anyway, you wouldn't happen to know anything about hacking, would you? Hacking? No, we pay a gardener to hack away the shrubs in our garden, sweetie. No, I mean computer hacking. Well, phone hacking to be more specific. Ha 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 ha! Phone hacking? What are you, some kind of government spy? No! I'm just, I'm just joking. All part of my quirkiness, you see. Just being cool, cause I'm cool as a cucumber. Oh my gosh, I love you. You are so funny. Okay, well, gotta go. I'll see you in class. <laughs> see you in class, babe. Run! <laughs> you managed to avoid Leon throughout your first set of lessons. The only interaction you have with him are a few awkward glances at lunchtime. There he is, and he's using his phone. I've got to get out of here. Oh, hey there, Rain. I don't want to sound like a teacher or anything, but it's kind of against the rules to run in the corridor. I only know this because I got caught last year. This sneaky snake called Adam Thomas told me that the vending machine was broken and it was giving out free chocolate. I ran like the wind for free galaxy, but instead I found a note pinned to the machine mocking me and I was escorted into the headmaster's office for a telling off. Thanks for the info. Hey, um, Freya, I know this is a bit of a random question, but you wouldn't happen to know anything about hacking, would you? Like, hacking an app, 
on a phone. No, I wouldn't. Why would you want to do that? If you do that, you're just as bad as that creep Jack Higgins. He hacked into Sarah Benning's phone two years ago so he could see all of her private photos. Please don't tell me you're some kind of sicko like him. Wait, Jack hacked into someone's phone? Yeah, and nothing was ever done about it. Sarah told the headmaster of course, but then they confiscated Jack's phone they couldn't find the trace of the crime. He must be so good at hacking that he was able to cover his tracks like it never happened. Sarah had to have counselling after that, you know. That is pretty terrible, but girl, I gotta go because I need to find this hacker myself. <laughs> I gotta go. Where? To find Jack. Do you know where he is? Why? Oh no. Can we lie? I think we should lie. Um, We want to shout at him, obviously, for the horrible crime he did to Sarah Benning. You know, so horrible. Oh, I guess that's understandable. He deserves all the verbal abuse in the world for that. I think I saw him enter the chemistry room. The chemistry room? Got it. Thanks, Freya. Gotta go. Bye. Well, well, well. If it isn't the new girl, Sugar Lips. My name isn't Sugar Lips, it's Rain. Rain Riverton. Sure thing, Sugar Lips. <sighs> He is such a creep. We need his help. Of course you do. I've been expecting you. What? How do you know what I want from you? It doesn't take a genius. You're new here. You're vulnerable. You want the company of a strong man to protect you. Who better to be that man than me? Um, in your dreams, punk? Oh, I don't have time for this, boy. But seriously, in his dreams, he's not very strong. It's not your puny muscles I'm after. I need some technical assistance. Technical assistance? Not another one asking me for fake Instagram followers. No, I need you to hack someone's phone for me. Whose phone? Whose phone? Leon's. Lion Fangs? Yeah. Why? Do I have to give you a reason? I guess I do don't I? Oh gosh, where to start? He has this app on his phone that scans for special people. Special people? Yeah, people who are kind of immortal. You're off your rocker. I should have guessed. No sane person dyes their hair bright blue for attention, but wears headphones to be antisocial. No, I'm not crazy, I swear. Come on, you have to believe me. Very well, carry on. Okay, the thing is, I'm one of these special people. You're trying to tell me that you're immortal. Yes. <laughs> I'm serious. But Liam can't find out, okay? That's why I need you to hack the app. It scans an area for people who are immortal and it displays a symbol above their head if they are. I need you to hack the app so it doesn't recognize me as one of them. Can you do that? Hmm, let me have a look at the phone. I don't have it yet. You want me to hack something that you don't have? Wow, you're dumber than the rest of the girls at Pettering Home. I'll have have it at some point today, okay? I just need to know that you're capable of the job before I st um, borrow it. And who made this app? Which developer? I think his sister coded it. Homebrew? Well, that makes things easier. Yes, I can probably hack a homebrew app. Excellent. How exactly are you going to get Lion Fang's phone off of him? He's very protective of that thing. I have no idea. Of course you don't. Look, I can steal his phone if you like. Really? Yes, I've stolen many phones over the years. I know exactly how to do it discreetly. That would be awesome. I shouldn't be condoning your thieving skills, but in this case, Yes, please. Hold your horse, sugar lips. It's gonna cost you. Cost me? Cost me what? My dignity? Because that's the least of my priorities right now. No, it's going to cost you a tenner. If you want me to get Lion Fang's phone, I want ten pounds for doing it. I thought it sounded too good to be true. Yep, okay. We're gonna give him ten pounds. I think that's worth it. For someone to steal a phone at ten pounds? Sure. Okay, here's a tenner. Why, thank you. You better do this properly now. Trust me, I'm an expert. Where's Lion Fang right now? In the canteen. Right, let's go. I know I told you to follow me, but you're going to need to give me some space, okay? He'll get suspicious if you're standing there watching the whole thing. Just go and hide out in the corridor for a moment. Okay, no need to be rude. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Oh, what the heck? He knocked him over. Higgins? What the heck? You knocked me over. Dude, I'm so sorry. I was running and I bumped into you by accident. What were you running for? Someone said the vending machine was giving out free chocolate. Oh jeez, not that again. Adam Thomas seriously needs to get a grip. Anyway, I think I dropped my phone. Can you see it? No, mate. I think it's lost. Yes. Completely lost. What? You should just forget about it for today. I'm sure it'll turn up in the lost property tomorrow. No, I'm not leaving here until I find it. Will you help me look for it since you're the one who knocked me over? Oh yes, of course. Why don't I search this bit 
And you search over there. All right. <laughs> I can see it in the shadow of this table. <laughs> Easy peasy. That was genius. You did it so quickly. Like I said, I've had a lot of practice. Okay, now that we've got the phone, let's do this quickly. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. What are you humming for? Please tell me you can do it. Please. Oh, I can do it. Should be a piece of cake. I'm just considering what I want from you in return. Oh gosh, Jack, please. Just do the hacking. We can talk about that afterwards. This is urgent. I'm not doing anything until we agree upon what I get in exchange for doing this. I'll buy you a chocolate bar. No. A can of Coke? No. What I want is a loving embrace of a woman. Oh my gosh. Look, if you think I'm into- Get over yourself, sugar lips. You're not that attractive. It's Emily Jenkins I want. Yes. In exchange for me hacking this app, I want you to secure me a date with Emily. Your Freaking mental. You know that? Emily hates your guts. She thinks you're an absolute creep. Promise me you'll secure me a date with Emily Jenkins or I'm handing this phone back to you. It's just that she'll never agree to that. It would be an impossible task. Holy moly, I don't have time for this. Promise me you'll get me a date with Emily. Oh my gosh, guys. This is gonna be so impossible to do, but it's pretty much our only option right now. So we're gonna have to promise him. I promise. Excellent. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. Hmm. And you say you want this to stop the thing displaying a symbol above your head? Yes, exactly. Okay, I think we're all done. Here's the phone back. <gasps> Jack? What is it? Um, look behind you. Uh-oh. Oh, this is so awkward. No. Is he gonna find out that we're in a mortal? This is terrible. Anyway, guys, this is also where today's episode ends. So if you did enjoy it, do make sure to leave a like. It lets me know that you're excited for the next part. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next yeah me your channel sweet just like some candy hot just like miami yeah a hit deserves a grammy you like it so subscribe let it take you for a ride post a comment you gon' see that purple hair go side to side watch it go side to side